Do you remember the Electronux, the Boss Z4622, the very late, one of the last I would imagine, of the back saver handle era of Electronux with the nice bag which saves it a lot. Well, it's done and it was surprisingly pretty terrible inside, so we'll have a look at that. Fit the last of the new bits. We're finally going to be able to do away with that glory hole and yeah see how well she works because this is the first actual vacuum after video I'm filming on our new SIBO rug after the Kirby foam clean up on that so very exciting all round let's have a look Hello, my vacuum cleaner chums, how are you today? Yes, this thing, I mean, it, it didn't need much of a cosmetic restoration, really. You'll see, sadly, we couldn't lose the kidney stickers. Well, we could have done, but it's it's faded. I mean, yeah, look, you can see on that corner already. It, uh, yeah, it's just faded. Not going to do it. It will be ever so, ever so noticeable. So that has stayed exactly as it is. And um, yeah, it looks just cleaner, although it was covered in a very thick layer of grime on the outside. Not quite as bad as the thick layer of grime on the inside, though. Let's let past me explain. Yeah, this is why I always just go for the jugular. You know, you could have cleaned out in there fairly well, but you would never have seen this. I am obviously as I, future me has probably alluded to stripping down. Mr. James's Electrolux, and yeah, I've just taken out the motor housing. Yeah, there is supposed to be foam there. There we go. This is what, oh, this has been used bagless. Look at this, look. This is the exhaust. <gasps> this is going to have some airflow after this. Yeah. Oh, take this out. Look, Phoenix is wondering what's going on. Hey, buddy, what are we doing? Oh. This is why you always should just go that extra mile. Ha, oh, there it is. That is the problem right there. And, you know, this would have cooked itself. I'm not actually really going to take the motor apart because yeah, it's pretty good. Where's the belt spindle? Yeah, there was nothing wrong with that. We've got it just in time. It's just, just this needs a wash oh well, i'll hand you back to future me because hey we can't wait to work out what this sounds like and works like now can we hey can we yeah you're gonna be silent now aren't you yeah i bet he'll squawk in a minute so with all that just being absolutely terrible she is done back together brand new exhaust filter fitted there it hasn't been turned on yet but quick blip to check that it didn't explode this is the first time we're going to do it so we're going to start by pulling out a replacement handle cap that somebody sold to mr james there we are well it's a it's a bit loose but i guess that might be ruinable which we'll have to have a play but it makes it so much nicer to hold it is all it is alarmingly jarring having that in there in fact now what i'm thinking about this the more i think just one little wrap of electrical tape will just stuff it in enough let's try that no one will ever know and it's tight enough you know if it if it keeps coming up it'll have to be glued but always start with the least destructive and most reversible way possible yeah such a difference the handle also came with a better hose. I mean, I say better, physically it looks the same, but it is shorter, which means, and this is the thing that plagued my one of these, my bagless one, which I'm going to actually try the hose that came off this on now and see if it's any better. Yeah, it now sits just nice and tightly, which is how they need to go. Our little tools are all done, all the fluff was picked out of our upholstery tool, the crevice tool is there. What we need to do now is take our nice, it's not, I say nice, I hate these, our cheap and nasty telescopic pole. I mean, there's nothing really wrong with them. They're just, ugh. 
the same like everywhere. Did you get this sort of thing in other countries? That every machine had this in the UK. And now she is 100% complete. She is 100% done. Only a little bit of damage. Just reminding myself of this here. It's weird. All the plastic's like coming away in the bottom of the corner. Don't quite know why that's doing that, but I guess we'll just ignore it and hope it goes away. And that concludes our tour of the top and the back. In here, this is thoroughly uneventful, but I'll dare just being zero dust anywhere on the entire machine. The same bag is fitted. We have ourselves a brand new genuine filter fitted in there. And a simple vacuum for simple people. That's all you need to do in there. Let's have a look at the last major upgrade this thing has had. That is a much better brush roll. You'll see it now has groom deeper yellow brushes. And yeah, they are just stiffer. I mean, there's nothing physically wrong with this brush roll. I'm going to keep it and chuck it in the pile. If you need an okay bit soft, I say it's you know, no worse than a DC-04. If you need a brush roll, let me know. But this one is nice and stiff. And yeah, seems okay. Hasn't exploded yet. It has the same belt. It is literally just... A wash and a put together job. The only thing I'm most excited about now is that with all of that thick layer of crud stuck inside of there, the airflow on this thing is going to be so much better than it was when we first tried it. And obviously, I didn't think it was too bad before. So let's see how well she runs now. Here we go, then, the first maiden demo voyage of. Our steam over no longer will you be the entrance mat to a shop. Right, we're going to need short pile for this. Let's see how well she runs now. second with some rice and a different camera angle that brush roll has transformed this thing I mean obviously having you know the air being able to escape the system is also helping <laughs> Very nice indeed, and the added benefit of the fact is, the last one of these I had kept snapping its belt. This one's lasted longer. They're so nice to use with this handle. Let's give the other rug a clean as well. After, of course, this, which could be very exciting.
always liked them, especially the bagged version. I think they always deserve the time of day. You can still get parts for them fairly easily. You can still find later 2000-ish ones like these, which will be, you know, a bit more better built. But yeah, they are lovely and fantastic and wonderful on carpet. Pretty terrible for hard floor, but hey, Aren't they all? So there we go, really, another one saved. I mean, didn't even know it needed saving. Luckily, we had a look inside. I don't just wipe things down, you know, if you're going to do it, you take it apart and you wash it, and then you'd never have to touch it again. Unless, of course, our paper bag splits, but it still seems okay for now. So let me know down below if you have one of these and what your thoughts are of it. And yeah, I had another electrifying Electrolux. We'll see you soon. Bye bye.